Hi guys, I'm Rosie Gick and I'm back with some more Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on PlayStation 1. Last time we were uh, sent to get some fireflies from a place called the adjoining room. And then, spoiler alert, Voldemort uh, basically knocked us down into this uh, dungeon and now we have to get out. Hang on, what, what the? Was that just to get that other beam that I managed to get anyway? But as I expected, we are plowing through this pretty quickly. Yeah, but what the hell is that? Oh, we have to raise the other platforms, I see now. There's a troll bedroom, by the way, I thought that noise is a snoring on the opposite side. Oh. God no! Oh, the frame rate. Oh! oh. So I think you can hit these to slow them down, but it's probably actually just easy not to bother. Another lever. Yeah, so we're trying to make our way up to that door. And now we've got to go in the troll bedroom. I know I do a lie, when I first played this on PS1, obviously PS1 is what it's on, when I first played this back in 2001, when I was 11, um, when this part came along I was like, oh shit, we got to go in the troll room, we're going to fucking die. It was the same sort of fear that I'd now go into a boss room in Dark Souls. I can't actually remember what you have to do. I think you, yeah, you have to sneak around, that's right, yeah, I remember now. And you can actually wake him up and get killed. I remember that much. As far as I know, he doesn't actually just wake up. I like the fact he whispers there. Troll key. And I believe when we do this, he does wake up. Shit, I just fell. Yep, he's going, he's definitely awake. We got our life. Yeah, so I'm still wondering about what game to do after this one because this is so short. Um, I feel like I can do more retro games, maybe more PS1 games, maybe it's different. Oh god. Moving, Harry. Oh, fuck. Stop walking, you bastard.
but yeah, the puzzles are pretty straightforward, aren't they, in this game? I mean, they're not really puzzles, really. And here's the fireflies. I'm not even sure what they're for. I think it's just something that Snape wants them, so we have to go get them. I don't think there is actually a use for them. I think we just get scolded enough for taking so long. Despite, you know, having nearly get killed. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Give me those fireflies. Oh, okay, maybe he's not. Then again, we are supposed to suspect Snape at this point. Now leave me in peace, Potter. Your defense against the dark arts class with Professor Quirrell is about to start, and you're already late. And you didn't split us back so soon. I don't know what to believe. We really need to go and... I'm... Mm, I'm just thinking about, because I really want to do as much of this as we can. So, I might actually... Just keep playing until we get to what I expect to be near the end. And then go around looking for the things we've missed. Uh, the beans and stuff. Let's see what's down here anyway. Professor Quirrell placed these platforms to test his students, but I can't figure out how to get up them. I think I need to attend the Defense Against the Dark Arts class before I can stand on them. Okay, so we actually do need to go to the defense against the dark arts class. That is what we shall do. And we got another time thing. Oh, I remember this. You, I think you can hit them and make them stay longer, but I just want to get the beans first. Come on. I missed. I suppose that I actually need to get the beans yet. I could literally just get them later. But. Shit, 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 shit. There is more than one part of this one, it seems, so I'm glad I didn't waste too long. God damn it. Oh, what did I do that for? Should have waited for the next one. Young Mr. Potter, to d d defense against dark arts, you're just in time. Gather round, class. I'm P P Professor Quirrell, and this is your d d defense against the dark arts lesson. You may b begin, Harry. T today we'll learn a most powerful spell, Verdimilius. 
Get ready. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Yeah, you can literally press it before it even gets there. Concentration, please. It's going to, to get difficult. Sure it is. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Watch out for this one. Oh, three is done. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. You may now enter the chamber one at a time to practice the Verdimilius spell. Verdimilius. Um, I don't think that was ever used in the films. Now, Harry, let's see how you d defend yourself against the d d dark arts. First, c cast your Verdimilius spell toward the d darkness. Observe how the Verdimilius spell flares, forcing back the d darkness, lighting the p path across. F -f -f Follow the path quickly, as your spell will only hold off the d d darkness for a brief time. Good luck, young wizard. Impressive. Five points to Gryffindor. Harry, How do we get back I've been here? waiting for ages. Do you remember that Dumbledore said that the upper castle is out of bounds to all students? That must be where the object is. Mm. Let's split up and look for a way up there. Good luck, Harry. Sure. But I know there's something secret in here. Let's save and carry on. Forty percent. <coughs> There was two doors there, so hopefully we've chosen the right one. What does this lead to? Shoes door, okay. What the hell is that noise? I've got a bit of fun for you. Within the time limit, use your knockback jinx to push the cauldrons onto the heated grills. If you get them stuck in a corner, come and see me. Good luck. Okay, so this one's a strategy or logic puzzle. Oh, that is more like it. Fuck. 
I might have fucked myself over there. I know I should have done now. Oh dear, shall I reset the cauldrons for you, Harry? Yes. Hello, Harry. I've got a bit of fun. Why for do you. I have to start up here? these at a time. I don't know why I didn't occur to you to move it back last time. It's annoying that they don't move faster and charge your spell. <coughs> well done, Harry. Okay, so we went a little bit over time in this episode because of that last little bit, but oh well. Uh, I've been Riser Geek, we're with Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on PS1. Don't forget to comment, like, and also subscribe to me for some more content, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>